Hi guys Mr. New Mobile here. The OnePlus Nord the talk in town. Why should I buy OnePlus Nord in the first place? Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter clicking the links in the description. We finally have the official bill of the OnePlus Nord that we now know its full specs design and launch date. Unlike most other leaks we have, though, a lot of this information, it came from OnePlus directly before we get started with the repair work. Please like the video. If you are a fan of OnePlus. Let me know in the comments. If you can be purchasing the OnePlus Nord. Was there another phone you have your eye on this time round? We had so much information. I don't even know where to start Copay showed us the OnePlus Nord himself had a full spec sheet linked full camera details pre-orders opening up and use the OnePlus Buds alerting alongside the OnePlus Nord. We put the OnePlus Plus launching alongside the OnePlus Nord One, plus a provided headphones in the past, such as the Bullets the OnePlus Buds are more of a true wireless experience, but they do look very similar to Apple, it's what they are a bit late to the market with the spec sheet for the OnePlus Nord, and it's looking like a very capable device will go through all of the specs now, as we will cover them towards the end of the video, with the specs leaked by Evan Blass, in the reportedly at from the virtual Nord training presentation of the specs, appear to be accurate. The design is of course incorrect. This is meant to be the case. However, as Evan advises the design is simply a placeholder. This is also obvious as report a single rate camera and the image with the court camera setup, listed it does confirm things that we already knew, and we're hoping for such as the 90Hz AMOLED display the court camera setup on the ray, the dual cameras on the front, and the Snapdragon 67 5G next up, we have the reveal of the one, plus Nord that I guess we can be cooling official, as it came from Carp himself, those that don't know what Copay is the co-founder of one, plus you usually see them on stage at the one plus launch as Copay had a 20 minute interview with YouTube and KBA. HD. They mainly discuss things such as smartphone cost and production, but we did get a look at the one, plus Nord we were first given a glimpse of the original one, plus Nord and as you can see, it's the design up very late in the process, and this is the reason for the delays, and pushed the lots back over a month. Some of you may have also seen this prototype in some earlier documentary videos he ventures is the final design, and interestingly enough, he says is the design they settled with probably not the best phrasing, considering that slogan is never settled really shows off the one, plus Nord final design from the front and the backswing, now no getting a dual camera on the front and a court camera set up on the ray in this vertical camera alignment, and of course, a LED flash in the top right. This also confirms the one plus Nord is coming in the grey interior color variants. We don't know if there's going to be any extras throughout the interview. He also gave plenty of confirmations on features and specs, and explained how they wanted the OnePlus in order to be a budget mid-range phone, but still be comfortable to use and provided that flagship experience. He confirmed it will have the 90Hz AMOLED display, which is one of the most important features can have a 4115 million power battery, to easily last the day will of course come with reasonable cameras, will but it is. Growth. Obviously, it would want to take the same direction going forward too, with the new Nord adding to its user base. The OnePlus Nord is a compact phone with a youthful appearance, at least the marble boom the new affordable range of smart TVs it launched recently. Before we get up close and personal with the Nord, let's take a gander inside its retail box. The black box has the Nord branding plastered on top, and opening it reveals the phone lying atop a plastic tray inside. A small cardboard envelope includes a silicone case, a SIM eject tool, the usual documentation and a welcome letter. Below that, you'll find the warp charger and the signature red Type-C cable. A 3.5mm to Type-C dongle is conspicuous by its absence. The word Nord means North, and that's the direction brand OnePlus says it has taken over the last few years, referring to its well compared to the other, recent OnePlus phones, but the Nord still sticks to the brand less, with the two front shooters peering back at you like a pair of eyes from the top left corner. You heard that right the Nord is not one, but two selfie cameras, with the 32MP main sensor aided by an 8MP ultra-wide sensor for group selfies. The 29FHD Plus screen uses a mold tech, offers a refresh rate of 90Hz, and integrates a fingerprint sensor beneath. And as one would expect, the fluid mold panel outputs vibrant colors and deep blacks. At the back, the quad camera module sits in a vertical strip placed on the top left, with the LED flash next to it. You'll see the brand's logo in the middle, and OnePlus branding closer to the bottom. On the right spine, you'll find the alert slider and the power key, while the volume rocker is placed on the left. The bottom is home to a dual SIM tray, the Type-C port and the speaker. There's number 3.5mm headset socket, alas. This is a tad disappointing, but not completely unexpected. 
The quad cameras on the rear comprise a 48MP primary snapper that utilizes Sony's IMX586 sensor and has an aperture of f1 degrees, a 2MP macro, and a 5MP sensor for depth. The camera offers all the usual features like support for shooting 4K video at 30fps, along with features like Nightscape, AI scene detection and a pro mode that shoot in RAW. There's support for shooting super slow-mo videos at 1080p, 240fps, and time-lapse videos at 4K 30fps. Preliminary shots captured using the setup look promising, though it's a tad early for us to comment on the OnePlus Nord's shooting capabilities. Inside purrs Qualcomm's mid-range Snapdragon 765G chipset, which is a 5G-capable SOC and uses Adreno 620 graphics. Worth mentioning that as of now, the only smartphone in the country that uses the same chipset is the newly launched Vivo X50 Pro. The SD765G isn't as powerful as the top-end Snapdragon 865 that powers the OnePlus 8 and the 8 Pro, but it touts improved CPU speeds and 30% faster graphics rendering than its predecessor, the SD730G. It features a dedicated wear level to be able to deliver a fast and smooth experience. We'll claim to the test very shortly, but for now, you should know that the Nord runs Oxygen OS 10.5, based on Android 10, and comes with the staple features like a dark mode, zen mode, and the usual slew of customization options. Based on our beef usage, we can safely say that the usage does seem pretty smooth, though a verdict on whether the Nord deserves your mula is a discussion, but enough using the system on a chip allows them to keep the cost of the OnePlus Nord down for day-to-day -day use. You will notice the difference. It's not to be able to play the latest 3D games in full detail, but it will still be able to play them. It can be able to provide a pleasurable experience for day-to-day -day use, just can't do anything to demanding Evan Blass also treated early on a range of cases late the one plus nord of the most interesting cases was of course the Jerry everything case, which has now been confirmed by the official OnePlus Twitter and gives us a look at what the inside of the OnePlus Nord looks like, but overall it's looking like a good mid-range phone that won't break the bank, but it will provide you with the specs and design you want the phone is being launched on 21 July, just 6 days time, and given that we all already have the specs and run through them now to help you guys decide if this is the phone for you. So when it comes to the OnePlus Nord we get a pretty much full screen display, which is a fluid analyzer 6.44 inch display, at a resolution of 1080x2400, this gives us a 20x9 aspect ratio, and a 409 pixels per inch, density one, one plus Nord is can have a 90hz refresh rate. Joe Poncho Self The Camera and in Display Fingerprint Scanner The Poncho Self The Camera consists of a 32-megapixel wide-angle camera with an aperture of f2.45, getting 8-megapixel ultralight with an aperture of f2.45, is capable of 1080p video at 30 frames a second, but it doesn't have optical image stabilization when it comes to the rear of the OnePlus Nord. We go to court camera setup in the vertical camera alignment, ever 48 megapixel primary sensor with a wide angle lens aperture of f1.75, this has both a phase detect or to focus, as well as optical image stabilization. This is supported by an 8 megapixel ultralight with an aperture of f2.25 megapixel camera, with an aperture of f2.4, and finally a 2 megapixel micro camera, with an aperture of f2.4 OnePlus Nord as jowl LED flash, and it does support HDR it allows for full K or 1080p video, but only 30 frames a second, this is most likely down to which we can system on a chip it will provide electronic and optical stabilization, the phone comes with 6, 6 gigs of RAM, and 128 internal storage or other one, plus phones recently have removed the micro card slot we are hoping for this to come back in the Nord, but they still haven't confirmed the one, plus Nord is powered by the Snapdragon 76 5G, which is a capable chipset power the phone is can manage day-to-day -day tasks with no issues, and it's only can a struggle with the very demanding tasks it has 5G connectivity, NFC Bluetooth 5.1. And it's powered by a 4 Zuri with 30 watt child supported unfortunately it does not have the 3.5 no headphone jack will likely see deals for the 1 plus parts no overall, it's looking like a great mid-range smartphone and should compete well with the Pixel for in the iPhone. South Carolina is providing us with a decent 90Hz display and respectable camera setup on the way the means for most people it can be able to do everything they need. Of course if you're a gamer then this isn't the phone for you. For anyone else. It's definitely going to be worth considering is launching in Europe and India first, and then it may go to North America later on its low price is expected to be just under $500, and it is of course can be an online only launch event that will also be at actually started another round of pre-orders today to give you the OnePlus Nord mystery gift along with the OnePlus Nord sticker pack or place a link down in the description below for anyone wants to go pre-order. Of course, that's all the news we have for the OnePlus Nord today that is pretty much everything covered. 
As always, though, I'd like to know your thoughts and the comments who's excited for the OnePlus Nord, and if not then are you excited for? Well haven't been said please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.